All right, so I'm gonna be trying to make a song using just the FL Studio stock plugins. Awesome, so I just opened up an empty project. And first off, I'm going to dig for some decent drums. All right, so I found some snares I like. I probably won't use all of them, but here are the ones I found. Nice. Cool, so we found a kick and snare. I'm gonna go ahead and find just the other percussion hats and stuff. Sweet, so I found some percussion sounds. I got two hats. Then I got a little rim shot. Uh, this little shaker thing, which I'm gonna stretch into kind of a riser. And a quick clap. So now it's time to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so I think I have some sort of a chord progression. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with that. I'm going to go ahead and make that into an arpeggio and see if I hear anything cool. Okay, so I think I have a nice little bass to start off of. Now, let's pull up Flex and find some sounds. So this sounds really nice. So before I forget, let's go ahead and get some bass in. Alright, I finally got something melodically I'm kind of happy with, which is just this bass line. The sound's gonna have to change, but I'm gonna start developing the chords around that instead. Now I think I'm safe to choose a more aggressive bass. This is getting there. It's getting there. So, I need some more melodic things going on. I'm gonna dig around for some more samples and see if that helps. I was improvising. Respect. What time is- We need a jacket. We need a so easy. Yeah, so we won't be using those. So I consolidated the vocals and I reversed them and they sound pretty awesome. <laughs> So I'm just gonna fix this up a little bit and I think it should sound sick. I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing. Distort. I think I'm just gonna keep distorting everything to make it sound better. This whole distortion thing's actually kind of working out. So I found some more legacy vocals. I just have a bunch of reverse vocals. Let's get a th 3x oscillator in there.
I'm gonna try and remake my reverb you saw. Okay, I actually think of something I'm happy with right now. Um, this was much harder to do than I expected, honestly. But I'm going to just play around with it a little bit more and then uh, show you guys the final product. Okay, so I think I finally got something together I'm happy with. That took a lot longer than I expected. I'm actually really tired right now. So what I got is a nice little drum and bass track. So to do this, I got a bunch of FL Studio drum samples and then I distorted them a bunch to make them a lot more unique as compared to the usual sample. Additionally, I used the 3X oscillator to make some good saw sounds, which I actually haven't done before. I also use a ton of flex patches for melodies and some ambience. And then I also use the vocal samples they give you and I kind of played around with them. I distorted them and reversed them to kind of get this kind of weird vocal melody going over this track. But yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be fantastic if you could like and subscribe. But besides that, I'm going to go ahead and play this track right now.